Me and my friend William are great farmers, and we decided to hang it up one year to start our very own towing company. We have $1.5 million to start us off. We have a goal of hitting $10 million. Can we see what we fail? Find out in today's video. P.S. Thank you for the first. All right, I just saw him going out. It's time to go, 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 go. We gotta get in here. Yep, there she is. Perfect. Come on, we gotta hurry. You gotta hurry. I'm gonna back up a little bit more so that in case he does come out, he don't see it. All right, that's good. That's good. Perfect, perfect. Oh, he is gonna hear that. So we gotta get this thing loaded up. Come on. We just gotta drive it up on here. All right. There we go. There he is. Go, 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 go. Hey, hey. Oh, watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Come on. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. These people right here do not like it when you take their stuff, especially their prize winning car. Come on. Come on. See you later, man. Hopefully we can get away from this guy. We just got his prize winning car. I know he won a couple of races with it, but his, he has yet to pay the payments on it, and at this point, it belongs back to the bank. That hope is a nice, good extra 10 grand in mine and William's pocket. I know we're kind of heading out back up to our place. It is a prime and beautiful day, ladies and gentlemen. We are simply pulling on up to our place now. Me and uh, William have been doing a lot of repossessions. We have a lot of stuff still waiting to go. We still got the Mustang. It's still waiting to go to the bank. We haven't been paid for anything yet. So once we get those payments, then we're going to be able to start doing some big hauls. But this was a nice little bit of a haul we found right here. Or at least I found. William decided he wanted to take a little bit of a vacation. He built this place with me and then immediately ran to a vacation. I tell you, you can't hire no one nowadays. All right, so we're just going to simply lift it up. Simply lower her down to the ground. Don't too far, too far, too far. Simple as that. I do know we need to hurry up and get this thing offloaded. There was a call that has come on the radio that did kind of let me know that we needed to somewhat move on. Um, there's this old lady waiting for us. I think she's at the Mexican restaurant. She has a nice old car that the battery went dead on her, so she just needed a simple new battery. Now that is part of the tow truck business is sometimes just taking an extra hand and giving it to the elderly now i'm not gonna take this truck actually i'm gonna kind of let this stay here turn the lights off and i am taking the nicer i'm gonna take the nice old truck because sometimes you just gotta have fun all right so this is what we're taking we're taking our tlx on over there it has all like batteries and it has like all of our replacement stuff gas cans everything honestly you would need and plus a lot more compact don't gotta worry about it as bad all righty ma'am let's go ahead and pop the hood let's get your new battery in yes ma'am ah, you know what since you being sweet i'm just not gonna charge you let's go ahead and get this stuff out all right yep there you go ma'am that's perfect she sounds like she's running really good all right i appreciate it yes ma'am well i'm gonna kind of just give you a a freebie here is only just a battery change and i'm gonna take your old battery back and i'm gonna go charge it it look like it still is a good battery just dead so you have a good one i'd get the wiring harness looks tech because it looks like you're not getting recharged most likely the ordinary man all right you have a good one see when you got simple stuff like that right there this is a really easy job that's what i love like you have these really really easy jobs and hopefully as long as they stay easy we'll keep on raking in the dough like we have been me and William has roughly $15,000, probably over that worth of people who have not paid yet. And once they pay, oh, it's going to be great. All righty. So we're going to pull up back into here and look at our jobs to see what's next to do. All righty. Let's say we've been working on a couple engines here and there. Just doing a little bit of work. Did a little trip work on William's truck. He kind of took one of the personal trucks. So I'm going to sit here and see if anything comes in. Uh, we're also, we also just signed a contract that's worth a lot of money for the city where now anything that happens inside the city, the cops will call us to come tow us. So if somebody goes to jail and their car needs to be towed, it will be the people who are called. If somebody goes out and if something happens at all they flip something like that we are the first company to get called and we have been kind of busy we're tr currently trying to fill all these trucks still we're hiring people like crazy it it's amazing it it's amazing to see what's going on here in the business hold up what's going on uh emergency at the bridge someone's hanging on okay we gotta go we gotta go we woo time oh what i take what i take what i take uh ooh, kenworth peterbilt i mean peterbilt's um, i mean i could take the mac i don't have uh, i took the peterbilt earlier so i'm taking kenworth all right let's go we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go oh this was not the thing we needed to happen when william's not here yep uh paperwork got here on my phone says the guy was trying to avoid somebody almost ended up in the river and he was on top of the main bridge so if that's the case 
that means this vehicle's still up there, and I can only imagine why they're calling me. It means it's probably hanging on by a thread. So let's go ahead and get over there ASAP. Got to pull on in here so they just gave me just barely enough space. Oh, oh, no, that trill is... Yeah, now I see why they wanted me here as soon as possible. This is the guy right here. What's going on, man? Well, a guy swerved over my lane, and I went to swerve to miss him, and, well, you kind of see what happened from here. I'm taking it. Oh, yeah. Ended up, like, halfway off the bridge, so. Okay, uh, yeah, I see that. Are you hurt by any means? Uh, no, not really. Just a few beats, bangs, not nothing. And a few band-aids won't help. Okay, okay. Well, uh, this looks like a mess you got here, buddy. Yeah, it, it certainly does. It looks like you're mainly being held on by that one tire right there. Yeah. All right, how much uh, do you care about the truck? Because I'm thinking maybe we just push it over. No, I, I don't want it to be damaged at all. I want it to any damage. I want it to be fixable. I really don't want any more scratches on it than what's already on it. I really care about it and would like to get it fixed. It's a really good truck. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, that, that just made this harder. All right, let me see what I can do. All right, sounds good. All right, let's kind of look at this. Looks like it's an OBS Ford. Huh. Now, we need to get, like, something attached up here. I don't know if they, this thing's going to be saveable or not. All right, I guess the best way to do it would possibly be to go get another, get another truck down here. So call one of the employees get another truck down here and get them to back it up here. I use my truck to stabilize it. They come in here and they use theirs to kind of lift it up. It's going to be interesting how we have to do it. All right, let me get, let me go on one of the boys get it down here. All right, so we just got here. Now we just need to get the truck flipped around. Looks like he's watching his truck, hoping that it doesn't go over the edge. We need to get this thing turned around and I probably should have backed it in. All right, let's get this thing turned around and put into place so we can hopefully save this truck. Now we'll just send, we'll send one of the guys over to get the little hitch down there. All right, looks like he's getting that. While he's getting that, we are going to try to get this up here. Now we're going to try to hitch it up kind of like up here near the bumper in the rear axle area. For this one, it shouldn't be nearly as bad. All right, so actually change the plans. This one does not have the movable rear thing like we thought it did. So what we're going to do, in fact, is use this one as an anchor. So we're just going to simply switch out the anchors. Should be good there. There we go. Just pull in a little bit. That's a little dangerous be right there. All right. We actually probably want to pull this truck back up. We got to back up without any stabilizers. Put the stabilizer back out. All right. We'll try it right there. Come on, come on, come on. Hey, I'd watch out over there. Everybody from that side of the belt. Yep, get, get from over there, bud. Because when this thing comes over this ledge, it's going to start swinging. All right, there we go. And that's the last cable and hook front, bud. Um, Are you wanting me to tow it? to my yard and you get it from there what you kind of what you thinking yeah because i i doubt that thing driving out of here without a little bit of repair work so yeah that that probably worked the best all right that sounds good to me well, i'm gonna go ahead and get it packed up you go to the hospital i guess might want to at least go get a checkup and uh we'll get it back to my shop and see what needs to be done all right sounds good appreciate it all right and there we go we have her on the back of the truck now we're just going to take her on the highway just told me to go straight through here we'll just take this all the way around and take this back to the shop now that's another successful job that we can put in the books now ladies and gentlemen this is all the time we have for today's episode so sorry about that we've had a busy day today doing some repossessions and of course doing this tow ladies and gentlemen big shout out to the whistling diesel gaming i don't know if he's changed his name yet or not big shout out to the guy for coming and joining us today and also becoming a tier three channel member and helping out the channel so very much thanks to him a lot and ladies and gentlemen also this is something we plan to do with a lot of youtubers is get them in here and we're gonna call this the youtuber fun series where they can come in shine for an episode and kind of be a guest card. Tell me what y'all think about that on the comment section down below. Thank you so very much for the support. Also, P.S. Tell me what y'all think about the new thumbnails that we've, we're trying on the channel. Alright, guys. See y'all in the next one. Peace!